God's word is a tool for transformation, illumination, and regeneration. Sit tight and listen to God's servant, Pastor Chooks Etty, as he unveils the truth in God's word, and your life will be nourished and regenerated. We are the only ones who are making light of what we have, who are not serious. We're just busy pursuing mundane things. We're just busy thinking and focusing on our problems. We're just busy focusing on the things that we have and on the things that we don't have. Now, let me tell you this. Okay. Okay, before I say that, you know, it's the same thing that is happening among the court people. If you go to school, you will see that these cult groups, they are on, they have targets. They give them targets. The number of persons you are supposed to bring into the cult. And they are out there going to decide to ensure that they are on, out there on recruitment drive. Sometimes they use a whole lot of things to entice the people. Now, people are, people are going to be paying for something that will kill them. It's only believers who are dumb. You know, we just think that God exists just to meet our needs. God is just something to be used to, as a means to an end. Now, that Acts 26, now give us Acts 26. I, I think it's important that we, re, that we read that. You see, because Jesus saved us for a reason. You see, what I'm teaching now is not like a popular, I know it's not a, a very popular message that, that is preached in church, that you come to church, you sit down, and they are telling you about soul winning. No, I should be telling you about how to, how to enlarge your coast, how to hammer, how to... Those things are good, but I can assure you that when you die, you are not going to go with any of those things. Now, not verse 5, maybe around 8, let me see. I think we need to read, oh, time flies like Give us the message translation. Go to six. I, I, you see, God saved us for a reason. You know, we began to look at what does it, what soul winning means. Now, because I believed it and took it seriously, move, committed myself heart and soul to what God promised my ancestors the identical hope mind you that the twelve okay move move to it let's just run because of time I can't see why it is a criminal offense to believe that God raises the dead I admit that I did not always hold to this position for a for a time I thought it was my duty to oppose this Jesus of Nazareth with all my might. Backed with full authority of the high priest, I threw these believers. I had no idea they were God's people. <laughs> you see, not many people know that you are, you, are, you are a person of God, a people of God. And that's why you see sometimes people try to disdain you or disdain us because they think that we are a menace to the society. How can you say that somebody feels like sleeping with a woman you shouldn't express two adults that love each other should not do anything they like? How can you be a pain in the neck? <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't forget... Those days when, uh, uh, you know, when we're doing secondary school summit, I went to one school in, in Makodi. I went to, to invite the school for this program. I don't want to call the name of the school for security reason. And as I went to the school, I saw the proprietor. 
And he took the letter from me and read the letter. I said, this controversial name, is that what you brought? Do you know who they were calling controversial name? Jesus. He said, is that what you are bringing to the school? This name that is causing confusion. I said, my, is it my own Jesus? If I, it was many small for me to do him like this. But I, I, <laughs> I know we don't do it like that. But how can you be talking about my Jesus like that? And into Jerusalem, Jer right and left. And whenever it came to a vote, I voted their execution. I stormed through their meeting places, bullying them into cursing Jesus. Let nothing bully you into cursing Jesus. It could be hardship. It is not it, hardship could be sore. Difficult time could be could be the thing bullying you. Your mates, it seems as if your mates have gone ahead of you. Could be thing that is bullying you that you want to compromise. You want to sell your body. You want to go and play games with them. <laughs> See, there are so many ways that people can curse Jesus. One man terror obsessed with obliterating those people. And then I started on the towns outside Jerusalem. Move on. One day on my way to Damascus, armed with, armed as always with papers from the high priest, authorizing my action. Right in the middle of the day, a blaze of light, light as shining the sun, poured out of the sky on me and my companions. Oh king, it was so bright. Do you have an encounter? Is your salvation so real to you? Can, can you see the way Paul is talking with conviction? Is your salvation real to you? Is your salvation real to you? We fell flat on our faces. Then I heard a voice in Hebrew, Saul, Saul, why are you out to get me? Why do you insist on going against the grain? I said, who are you, master? The voice answered, I am Jesus, the one you are hunting down like an animal. But now, up on your feet, I have a job for you. You see, Jesus did not save you for you to be giving him prayer requests. He saved you because he has a job for you. He saved you because he has a job for you. See, that is why Apostle Paul said that I labor to apprehend that for which he apprehended me. It's the job. There is a job. I have handpicked you. You see, God is a master strategist. He, he's just going from family from fam, family to family and picking people. <laughs> he, will, he will pick the first person and he expects the, first, the next person to now be picking other people through the person he's now be picking. He handpicked you. Do you know what it means? He's, you are special. He selected you. Some of you can see that probably in your family you are the only one who is saved. You don't understand the reason why Jesus saved you. Because if you understand the reason why he saved you, one of the things you're going to do is that you are going to be perpetually be on your knees interceding for other members of your family. It's not there crying about mundane things. He said, I have a job for you. I have picked you. Now look at it. The first thing to be what? A servant. The second thing is to be a witness. You have been saved, one, to serve. Secondly, to be a witness. Witness of what? To what happened today. Now, let me ask you a question. Did something happen to you the day you gave your life to Christ? I'm not sure. See, are you sure something happened to you? Are you sure? 
Hey, I said, are you, did something happen to you? Did something happen to you? Now, me, I gave my life to Christ inside the toilet. I was sitting on the throne when I gave my life to Christ. And from that white throne to enthronement, the re enthronement, something happened to me. I heard the gospel in the morning, and the thing kept following me. I was playing football with my friends, and then I got pressed as I went to the toilet. While in, inside the toilet, the message came hard, and I gave my heart to Christ. And now came out from the toilet a new person. And now told the people, look, I'm born again. They laughed. Said, we give you two weeks. Two weeks, we are still counting. 30 something years. Two weeks has not come. And we never come. Two. Say, we give you two weeks. Two weeks passed. They gave me another, extended it to one month. One month came, they extended it again. And after that one came, they got tired of extending. And here we are. Did something happen to you? He said, to be a witness of what happened today and to what I'm going to be showing you. See, that means that your encounter is not just supposed to be a one-off. There's a, pro, a, pro, a, a progression. I'm sending you off. Look at it. To open the eyes of the outsiders. So that they can see the difference between dark and light. And choose light. And see the difference between Satan and God. And choose God. I'm sending you off to present my offer of sin forgiveness. No, many people know that their sins have been forgiven. That is the thing that God is sending us to do. To go and tell that harlot that has committed 30 abortions. Do you know that your sins have been forgiven? Because that person, have you, have, you know, sometimes when I'm ministering to be say, God cannot save somebody like me. Pastor, you don't know me. I don't need to know you. You don't know how powerful the blood of Jesus is. He said, this is the offer. This is what they're going to be proclaiming to people that their sins have been paid for. They don't need to die again and go to hell. A place in my family, Jesus, God is offering them sin forgiveness. God is offering them a place in his family inviting them into the company of those who begin real re living by believing in me so that means anyone who is not born again is not truly living that actually means that true living begins from the time you begin to live for Jesus Christ move on let's see what could I do King Agrippa I could not just walk away from a vision like that I became an obedient believer on the spot. Now, where we stopped last week, let's try to build on it. When we began to look at why he's so winning, and we looked at several things because it's a command, the coming of Jesus depends on it. Men will be eternally lost forever without it. I, I, I need to read this scripture. I, 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 need us, I need us to read it. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Men will be lost forever. Revelation chapter 20, 9 to 15. The harvest is ready. We talked about that. We are saved to save others. We talked about that God, God soul winning is God's number one business. We also talked about that soul winning brings joy to God. We saw that the one sinner that is saved is more important than 99 that are already born again. Revelation chapter 9. Now look at it. And they went up on the bread. And Okay, move to 10. Let's see quickly. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire. How many of you remember the, I was telling you that, that hell is not lake of fire. Hell is not the last bus stop. Hell is 
a waiting lounge for the flight that will carry people to lake of fire. If you have traveled, if you have flown before, you find out that while you are waiting for your flight to come, there is a place they call waiting lounge. And then you have the one, there is a place for VIP. And there is a, way, a place for everybody. So hell is where they are cooling off. Testing how lake of fire will be so that they can get used to it. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever. Move. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. There was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, the small, the great, standing before God. And the books were open. You see, there are books. Several books. God is the chief accountant. You see, there are records of the things that we're doing. So probably when you went out to do that thing, you looked left, looked right, looked front, looked back. But the only place you didn't remember to look was up. And even if you look up, look inside. He said, books were open. And then another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things who were, which were written in the books according to their works you know time will not allow us to by said that and the sea gave up the dead that shows you that dying here is not the last which were in it death and hell delivered up <laughs> did you see that even death say all of you inside come out out it doesn't matter how you were killed. Whether you are grounded to powder, it's still dead. And then hell, they say, all of you, out. <laughs> go and give a, go and move. No, 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 I've not finished. Go back. Which were in them, and they were judged, every man according to their works. Move 14, quickly. Now he said, and they see, and death, and hell we are cast into the lake of fire. So that means the people will be inside there with death. It means that death is a spirit. This is the second death. Now look at it. It's not as if the people are going to die. Verse 15. Let's see. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, when you read the Bible, you realize that there was never a time where the Bible says that people's name will be written, it will be, you know, that they write people's name in the book of life. Hey, are you with me? Now, it's not as if, because, you know, there's a, there's a prayer we used to pray then, maybe when we're leading people to Christ, we say, write my name in the book of life. No, it's not that time that your name is being written in the book of life. Now, let me tell you this. Now, what you're going to see from scriptures is that people's name can be removed from the book of life. Now, let me also tell you another thing you need to... Now, can they go and be looking for a name in a place if it was not there before now for example now can they go and be looking for your name in heritage academy school I said they are looking for you Sam Obande where is Sam head teacher can you help us find Sam Obande's record they know you didn't go there so they, you see, the reason why they're going to be looking at it is because, you see, 
Now, because everyone who is born into the earth, originally his name will be there. Now, your name only leaves the book of life when you die without Jesus. It is deleted. So, whose name was not found written? So, when they go to check it again, and it's not there, the Bible says that the person will be cast into the lake of fire. This thing is a very serious matter. You know, I, I said this thing last week. I said, can you truly say you love somebody and the person is going to hell and you are not doing anything about it? You tell people about Buhari, tell people about Chelsea, tell people about Bomo that you ate in Mama Paulina's buka. But you have never told people about Jesus. Now let's take it. Now I want you to pay attention. You see, what I'm, 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 I'm today, your life, my life actually depends on it. You see, one of the things that happens why we must go and win souls is that because, you see, it makes God to walk with us. That is the last point on why we must win souls. You see, for give us that Matthew 28. You see, you see that in Matthew 28 and Matthew, Mark 16. Matthew 28, the place that we read. Verse 18. Media, please help me. Now, he said, Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Now, go ahead. He said, Go ye therefore. Now, somebody said something very powerful. Do you realize that go is to third of God's name? Go! is two third of God's name. You must go. <laughs> God is in the business of go because go is in his name. And you see, until you go, they will not come. I'm, I'm going to read a, another scripture to us now. He said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Ghost. Now look at it this way. Now when you go teaching them, then he said, lo, I am with you. You see, one of the reasons why we are not really experiencing the presence of God the way we ought to experience the presence of God is because we are not going. You see, his presence is for a purpose. It's for going. If you read Mark chapter 16, he said, and the Bible says, and they went, and God walking with them. What do you think his presence is for? One of the major reasons for his presence is so that we can be effective witnesses. I'm telling you this. If you want to experience the tangible presence of God, if you want to experience the miraculous, we must be on the go. He said, lo, I am with you. He said, and they went and God walking with them, confirming his words with signs and wonders. Now let's move. Now let's look at what are the benefits of, of soul winning. Number three, that's the three. What the benefits of soul winning? The benefits of soul winning. Now we have said the reason why we must go is because it brings joy to heavens. Now but let me tell you this. It brings joy to us. It brings joy to us and to others. Luke chapter 10 verse 17. Quickly, Luke chapter 10 verse 17. Luke chapter 10 verse 17. Luke 10 17. It brings joy. And the Bible says, And the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. You see, no true soul winner will be depressed. 
If you are winning souls every day, hey, have you ever won souls before? Have you ever led somebody to Christ? Are you here? Are you here? I'm asking you a question. Have you ever led somebody to Christ before? Have you ever led somebody to Christ before? Don't be in a, if you have not, just keep quiet. I want to hear the voice of people that, have you ever led, I didn't say, have you ever seen somebody being led to Christ? I say you, yourself, have you ever led somebody to Christ before? The joy, the, ah, the joy of leading somebody to Christ, even if they buy Cadillac, it, it doesn't quantify it. He said the 70 returned with joy. There's nobody who is a soul winner every day who is, will be depressed, I'm telling you. Your joy is dependent on it. He said, the, the, and the joy of others, the people that you are leading to Christ, the day you, you gave your life to Christ, it was as if the load. How many of you, how many of you remember that time? I don't mean this one, they say, somebody come and give your life to Christ, he's chewing gum. I said, are, are you aware of what you are coming to do? You give your life to God, you break down in repentance. And when you finish, it's as if a load was removed. Peace floods your heart. Joy floods your heart. Even though your circumstances have not changed, but you, are, you don't care. Joy, joy. Now in Acts chapter 8, 7 to, Acts chapter 8, 7 to 8. The Bible says there was joy in Samaria. Philip brought the gospel to Samaria. And the Bible says, For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them. And many taken with palsy, and they were lame, were healed. Verse 8. And there was great joy in the city. That's the power of the gospel. It brings joy. Go and find out wherever devil is, there is darkness and depression. And that's one of the reasons why you cannot keep company with depression. Anytime you see depression, there is a disconnect. Your cord, your power cord is off. Check it. <laughs> Check it. You see, anytime you start feeling load, load of your problem is weighing you down. Check your socket it has been removed. Maybe somebody put it off without your knowing. <laughs> because you know what the Bible says? In his presence, there is fullness of joy at his right hand. There are pleasures forever. And this is presence we're talking about is not when you come to church. Hey, I'm with him always. His presence. It means that when you start feeling depressed, you are feeling depressed, you don't want to go out again. You are feeling depressed. You don't want to brush your teeth. You are feeling depressed. You are there lying. <laughs> okay. See, now let me tell you. See, let me give you wisdom. 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 Wisdom 101. You have been depressed how many times? It has never produced any result. So why are you going there? He said, which of you, by worrying, can increase your height? That means it's possible to increase your height, but worry will not in increase it. Because he said, which of you, he said, can increase, that means he's in, ah, yeah. When you, when you come out from his presence, your height increases. So. <laughs> Whoa! Have you ever, have you ever, been there before you 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 are you pray you pray just enjoying fellowship and as you are coming out there is spring you are looking at the devil where are you right now throw your best shot check your socket <laughs> can you ask me that tell number check your socket check check your socket check it check it the power the thing don't burn what it don't burn the thing, I, the fuse don't go, and as you are doing that, no power, and then the next day, and you are thinking that God will see how your face is moody and come. He can't come. You are chasing him away. 
<laughs> With joy, we will draw water. <laughs> With joy, that's what we draw. We used to draw water. Is the boga? <laughs> Is it boga or boga? Which one? Eh? Boga. And you, you threw your boga away, and you went to where? Looking for you will die. You better go and find out where you drop your joy. It's not uh, Paul is rejoicing. I have joy. <laughs> some people are some people are just waking up to the revelation. <laughs> doesn't exist. You see, you better live your life as if there is no devil. That's, I don't know. Now, it's not as if you are... <clears throat> There's a realm like that. Where you are not aware of his... <laughs> you know, they were asking Oedebo before. He said, they are asking me, say, have you ever had trouble? He said, maybe the thing came, I didn't know. <laughs> he said, he doesn't have to... You see, you can oh, joy can bulletproof you. You don't look like the things you are going through. You don't look like the things that you went through. You'll be on inside fire. But by the time they come, they can't perceive the fire. You are telling your story, say, you lied, you lied, you lied. Because if you have gone through this thing, your hair, part of your hair is supposed to burn. <laughs> He said, the people that I know that went through this thing, they are vegetables now. But you, you are, you are bouncing like football. You see, this is one of the things. You see, if you do evangelism, so winning, God will ensure that there is a well of joy on your inside. Now, let me tell you this. Joy is a is a note is a sign that devil can never defeat you. Hi, I, I wish you can. I, I wish you have the time. I would have shown you that is a sign that your enemies are going to be crushed. <laughs> Joy is a is a, a nothing moved by your adversary, which is unto them a token of their perdition. Your joy is a token. When they see it, they know that it's, they don't die. But when you are sad, they know they don't win. They are winning. Eh? Can you tell your neighbor again? Check your socket. Some of you, you put up your, you came, even in this service as I preach here, I say, he doesn't even know what I'm going through. Your socket, on it. I don't need to know what you're going through. Do you, do, do you know what I'm going through? Are you the only one going through something? Go and sit down. Sit down. You want me to say, <laughs> go and sit down. I say, go and sit down. You are not the only one. In this kingdom, there is a allotment of going through. There is a is allotted. When you, it's not if, when. In fact, let me even tell you, if you think you are inside something, the one ahead of you is bigger than this one. You better win this one and have CV. You. you better win this one and go with CV. CV, you carry it CV. So that when you see the other one, you say, hey, God that delivered me. When lion came, I, I tore it. Bear came, I tore. You want, you'll be the same. But if you don't have a CV, you are going there with empty hand. <laughs> so winning. So winning. Joy is critical. I wish. Okay, let's move. Now, number two. Number two. About evangelism. 
I, 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 I'm getting number two benefit of evangelism is that it dethrones Satan in a life and in a territory. So winning. When we win souls, Satan is dethroned in a life and in a territory. And you know, it's, it's also something that you can, you can say that it is also it is, it is a key. Okay, let, maybe I would, I would treat them differently. They look similar. It is a key to personal and societal transformation. They look, div- they look the same, but let me try and separate them. Now, give us Luke chapter 10, 17. The same Luke, 17 to 20. The same Luke. It is the key to dethroning Satan in a life. Because you see, he said to show the people the difference between what? Darkness and what? Light. So that the people will choose what? And when they choose light, darkness has been what? Dethroned. And to show them the difference between Satan and what? God. And when they choose God, Satan will be what? Dethroned. Now look at what happened. When the disciples went out for evangelism, two by two. Two by two. Two by two. Two by two. You know, if we fix and say evangelism this evening, we will count. If we reach 10, we will praise God. But when we say, ah! Operation Kopoko, your enemy. By 5 p.m. today, when you are coming, come with a Koboko. Come with, come with Koboko. We will Koboko all the devils in your family, burn them, kill them. Even you, you, you will tell your neighbors, ha, we are going for Koboko service. Upon all your Koboko service, you say, Operation, who do me this thing? Operation, not my blood. Operation, my blood is bitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Until why? That's the theme of a program. Until why? And the person is preaching, sweating. Woo! Yeah, yeah. You are shouting, yeah! You come and be dropping seed. You see, you will not come and drop something in this evangelism. That's what you're supposed to do. See your life. We will count how many people that will come. They don't know that soul winning is a key to displacing the devil. Now look at it, hear this. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Verse 8, 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Why? Because they went out and the devil was displaced in a territory. Displaced in lives. You see, evangelism, so winning. You see, if you like, give people palliative, it will not change them all. Palliative. Now, let me tell you this. As beautiful and as good as we are saying obedient, 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 <laughs> obedient is not the key to transformation. Obedient is not the key to the salvation of our nation. So winning is. Because even if you. Now, let me tell you. Do you know Nigeria? You don't know Nigeria. If people are thinking, say, when Obi, if he, you think if he goes there, he just do like this. Nigeria will change. You, you don't know that there are people who are growing fat on the blood of people dying. There are many people you don't know their name that have vowed that this country will not move forward. People who will be bent on frustrating. Don't worry. I think we're here. 
the, the reason what is going to happen to Nigeria is because it is only because of the hand of prophecy. And let me tell you this. It is not going to be a change that will be harassed by politicians. <laughs> the change is not... In, in fact, the thing that will change the polity is because of this thing that we're talking about. It is the key to dethroning Satan. Some of you know how Satan was eating on your head. Dining. Eh? How many of you? You know how he was having a few days using you and playing football. You didn't know. You say, I can't help myself. How many of you were where you were saying, I could I can't help myself? Eh? A man couldn't help himself. He was always collecting number. <laughs> Don't look at him. You you know your own. <laughs> You couldn't, you couldn't help yourself. Satan was the was the was enthroned in your life. He was having a field day. You you see a woman, your head is shaking. You say, Hi, you are you follow. Whether the person is good or is you don't care. But you see, by the time the gospel came and Satan was displaced out of your life. The same thing that had power over you didn't have power over you again. Some of you, when you see green bottle, hi, kwashoko, <laughs> you start convulsing, your hand will start shaking. But now, you see green bottle, you are not moved because Satan has been what? Detroned. It's the key. And it couldn't have happened without the gospel. Men and brethren, the key to dethroning Satan in North Bank is the gospel. It's the key. It's the key. He said, I saw Satan. It's not going to happen even if you like. Kill, carry all this will kill them. <laughs> you see, the Satan will just Mani- move, migrate into something more sophisticated than the one you are seeing. The gospel. We want a territory to change the gospel. Now let's look at the, is the key to personal and societal transformation. Now, oh, I wish I can read all these places. Now look at it. Uh, let's read Acts, Acts chapter 9. Verse 26, Acts chapter 9. It's important I read that. Acts 9, 26. Quickly, quickly. Now, and when Paul was come to Jerusalem, I said to join himself to the disciples, but they were all afraid of him. <laughs> and believed not that he was a disciple. <laughs> Paul, look at him. He want to come and sit near somebody as he's sitting. The person is standing. It's like maybe he came to arrest me. <laughs> now look at it. And Barnabas took him, brought him to the apostles, and declared unto them how he had seen the Lord in the way, and that he had spoken to him, and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. Now look at 28. And he, and he was with them, coming in and going out at Jerusalem, 29, you see the one, and he spake boldly in the name of our Lord Jesus and disputing now, 30, I like this now, and brought him down to, okay, now move, 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 where, I'll tell you where I'm getting it. Then, had the churches rest throughout what? All Judea and all what? And Galilee and what? And where a defied, walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost, I were multiplied. Why? Because one man got saved. One man got saved and there was rest. One man got saved. There was rest throughout Judea. Half cities, three cities. 
do you know that there are people that will be saved in this North Bank? North Bank will have rest. And you, and you are joking with the gospel. And you are there. They have not, they have not collect, when they collect your phone and you are tired, you will go out for evangelism. You think it's, you think, you think our prophet, they will not collect your phone. The reason they will collect is why you will go out for evangelism. So that when that person is collecting your phone, be looking at the face. And go and find out where the person is living. And knock there and say, you collected my phone last, I came to preach to you. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> you know, the, one of our leaders, maybe two, three years ago, I think he was going around this place. One notorious boy, I will not they were laid him, collected his phone. And he was roaming up and down looking for, looking for the boy. Went to the police station. When he called the name of the person, I said, that name, we are not inside. <laughs> they said, we are not inside that thing you are calling. So I said, what's the name of the boy? They, they told me the name of the young man. So I, I said, okay, no problem. And now, thank God I was reaching out to somebody who happens to be his cousin? And then I say, Ah, this name is my cousin. I say, Ah, your cousin, you know where he lives. Ah, well, I'm coming. <laughs> so, and I went to this is somebody that police people are afraid of. And I went to his house. <laughs> In fact, when you go there, you see sticker of Vikings. <laughs> Only me, I didn't. It's not I went with police. I just went, knocked. I said, My man. <laughs> we sat down. I ministered to him. He repented. And do you know, he now went and apologized to the person that he sips on the phone when they met in church. <laughs> He's still backslidden and he's not in town again. But at least the person, the person, he went about that day, 11 p.m. Went. To, the person now came to his domot. I was asking, I'm sorry. <laughs> you never collect your phone, finish. I think when we come, if I leave, you will not come. Okay. You say, am I prophesying? Is Sometimes God will allow those things to deal with us so that we can wake up. You see, whenever the church is complacent, that's when persecution comes to wake us up. There was rest roundabout. And you know what happened? Even the fear of the Lord, people began to walk in the fear of the Lord. You don't know there are people that will repent in this not bank. Many people will walk, he said, Kaba, this one will repent. What am I still doing with my life? And you are joking. You are afraid. You love your life. He said, what if I go, it slaps. If it slaps you, that's part of it. It, it happens like that sometimes. You didn't hear the people that poor kid. Your own, they slapped you. They are still alive. That's the key. Now, in Acts chapter 19. Now, we may not be able to read that, 1922. Now, this was at Athens. By the time Paul began to evangelize, you know what happened? Because it was a place for idol worship. And people were making gain through idol worship. And by the time people began to repent, their business began to go down. Now, let me tell you this. When people begin to repent, their palace will begin to shut down. It is the key to the shutting down of Bia Palace. And it will be the, the key to the reduction of side chicks. And it will be the key to the reduction of divorce. It will be the key. To, oh, it will be the key to you not sleeping well at night. You are not aware. You think it's police? Police. If, if you say that that's your business that, if they, <laughs> go to office you're going to see them you see uniformed people with their guns smoking with criminals 
They are already passed with the criminals. Some of them are even inside the courts with the people. And, and that's the people you are committing your life to. They will arrest you and leave the criminal. You don't know what happens in our police stations that a crime will happen. Information will be reaching the people how they are planning to catch them. Where, who is giving them information? So your hope is in the gospel. There's one song, my hope in the gospel. Mm-mm. No, not that one. There's this, uh, oh. Oh. This song by all these, this group. Yeah, not his song. They're all. Oh, she is the key. You see, you don't know where side chicks and divorce people can imagine somebody that by four he goes to Biapola and sits till 12. The friend will be telling, ah, you are, afraid, you are eating a goosey, a goosey, a goosey. <laughs> by that, those people stand on the road. Everybody say, hi, hello. <laughs> they will go home. Or by the time we go there and fetch them for Jesus, there will be nobody standing by the road. It's the key to societal transformation. Did you see how your own life changed? You were moving without direction. You are like Amweba, shapeless, formless. You didn't even believe in yourself. You didn't even know, you didn't even know that anything good can come out of your life. But when Jesus came, you had direction. You can't, you can't give another person this thing that changed your life. It's the key. It's the key. If we want our society to change, it's the gospel. Even in Samaria, Acts chapter 8. Simeon the sorcerer kept them under spell. In fact, they thought that Simeon was the one who was holding the mighty power of God. But by the time Philip came to Samaria and displaced the devil there, even Simeon himself submitted. And every other person submitted. Don't be afraid. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater, greater, greater. Don't be afraid. That's why God will say, don't be afraid of the people who can kill the body and has no power to kill the soul. He said, I will show you whom you will fear. You will fear the one who can kill the body and still have power to carry you and put inside hell. That's whom you should fear. You're afraid of mortal man. That's the key. You know the people in your area. Don't be afraid. I came to preach the gospel. He said, if I see you here again, eh? <laughs> tomorrow, I, I've, told, I've beat you. <laughs> he said, see, you tell the person, he said, look, eh, I have, <laughs> in fact, if you know the person is a runs girl, you can go and say, see, I have one sugar daddy that I want to introduce to you. <laughs> no, we'll get to techniques of preaching the gospel. Sometimes, you say, you, say, you mean, ah! You say, you see, if you see, if you meet this man, eh, hey, the way he will butter your bread, eh, you say, true? Ha! Ah, the guy in there tight. You need to meet him, oh. Higher. One night, if you see what he will give you, you know we'll recover. <laughs> uh, you mean I'm, hey, carry me, go. He said, calm down, I give you profile first. If you, if you see this guy, all the guests, we don't meet him, eh? If you see as he changed their lives. <laughs> See, eh? may I show you where you will meet this person? 
come come our church. So this man day he get he get do. He get do. It's not me they are coming to my friend. Be careful. Be careful, dear. It's not me. It's not, it's not pastor you are telling them about. He said, This guy, Kai. No mind no, he did church, but in day, in day, just he know how to fix. <laughs> the person could just come, be waiting, his mind will be to be just let's have his end so that you <laughs> what happened to him what happened to him. <laughs> When the message will be coming that day, he said, "Be like, say, somebody don't go tell pastor about my life." Oh. <laughs> Did they, it's like somebody went and read my profile. How many of you want our nation to change? You want your family to change? Money will not change your family as good as money is. In fact, it can amplify your problem. You can change the life of your brother. You got married second wife. <laughs> oh, is somebody with me? Oh, hallelujah. Now let me end with this. It is the key to answered prayer. John chapter 15, verse 16 is the key to answered prayer. One of the reasons why our prayers are not answered endless. We are just out there about ourselves. Now look at it. He said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit should remain. And that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give you. Answered prayer. Answered prayer. So winners have limited prayer requests. Is the key to answer prayer. Okay, you now, you have been giving God prayer requests. God, I only gave you one request. You have not answered it. Just one. He gave you one. Go ye and win souls. God himself have requests now. He said, I have a job for you. You have been giving him a job. He said, go and heal my uncle in the this. Bring me house rent. Kill, kill and bury the other person. Bombard the other person. For some of you that kick, pray, kill, and bury prayers. You say, go to my village. Finish them. Go and show them I pass my neighbor. That you are my God. I'm serving a living God. Give me a husband. That they might know that I'm serving a living God. That's why you're looking for a husband. God is already a living God before you were born. For crying out loud. He's not giving you your husband that will make him know that he's a living God. But you, he gave you one request. Gave you sins. You have not answered it. Him, he has answered ten, ten, ten before. You gave him five again, he answered. You brought twenty-one. And then you want him to finish that twenty-one. Now you're already writing forty. He won't answer again. It's not, he said, this is what he said. He said, I've, I've chosen you. Do you remember? He said, I handpicked you. That's it. I've chosen you, ordained you. Can you give us simpler translation? That you should go and bring forth fruit. You didn't choose me. Remember, I chose you. I put, in the, I put you in the world to bear fruit. Fruit that won't spoil. A fruit bearers. Whatever you ask the Father... In relation to me, he will give you. Give me another translation. We're going to pray now. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lovely fruit always. So that no matter what you ask for from my father, using my name, he will do it. He will give it you. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. I have appointed and placed you purposefully and purposefully planted you you see it's not by mistake that you are planted in your village 
It's not by mistake that God carried you and put you in union agree, put you in the department of husb uh, animal husbandry. Even though you don't want to husbandry, the, he with you and put you there. <laughs> maybe, he, maybe it's because of that your seat mate. You know, as I went to that night first meeting, they were talking about people that missed opportunities in the life of, of, of Joseph. People that also encountered him and people that helped him to be able to actualize. First of all, there was a man that we were, were not told his name. Who told him? I said, I heard your brother saying that they're going to Jotam. Do you know? He picked you. You may not like the fam your family, but he put you there. <laughs> you may not say, Kai God, why didn't you put me in Clinton's family? He put you there. You say, why didn't... Queen Elizabeth II give birth to me. No, he, he didn't put he didn't choose that one for you. He chose your mama for you. Put you in that family for a reason. You say, why didn't Buari? Mm -mm. You would have been a Muslim. You may go to her. He carry put somewhere else. <laughs> you know, some of us you, you don't even understand. You know, so let, let me tell you the truth. You know, sometimes when I look into my life as I try to close, that when I'll be asking myself a question, I say, what if, if my mom, my dad did not leave? What would have become of me? Because I would have learned of his ways. You know, there are so many things you think is a, is a disadvantage. But by the time you come to eternity and see through the eyes of God, you will realize that it was actually orchestration of God. You wouldn't know the things he delivered you from. You are crying, that boy broke your heart. He broke and where, where? <laughs> if you see from the eyes of God, he's not crying that you'll be crying. If you cry at all, it'll be cry of thanksgiving. Because it's possible that you'll be a widow by 31. It's possible that it's that boy, him, that will kill you. Either you kill him or you kill him. And he delivered. He said, he broke my heart. God, where were you? Did you tell him when you went inside? <laughs> you are harassing him. You go, you go here and John did this thing to my heart. When you were going, did you tell him? Did you carry him? He said, he will scatter it so that you can leave. <laughs> Bow down your heads as we pray. Our prayer points we reduce when we become soul winners. I want somebody to pray. And I want you, I want, I want you to be serious with this. It's the key to personal transformation. Do you know how many people, you see, do you know how many people that you are a teacher? The reason why God made you a teacher, they, there may be somebody who, arm robber that is passing through that place. That God is trying to, you can save. God has strategically placed you. Don't allow people go without encountering Jesus through you. Or without even sowing a seed. Somebody pray. Can you pray? Can you pray? Lord, I want to bring joy. I want, I want your presence. He said that he sent them as they went. He went with them. <laughs> A soul winner will not be begging for the presence of God. God, come down. No, God goes with him. Because he's on a mission. Somebody pray. And I want you to pray passionately. Our, reason, our society is the way it is because we failed to preach the gospel. He said there was peace in Judea, in Samaria, because just one man gave his life to Christ. One man. One man. Who is that man? Who is that woman that if he gives his life to Christ in this North Bank, this North Bank will have rest. 
Who is that person? Probably the person is your neighbor. And you are saying, I'm a little child. Who told you a little child? Say no that you're a little child. He said, I put my words in your mouth. Somebody pray. Lord, let me be filled afresh with your spirit. Boldness. I will not be a bit disobedient to the heavenly calling. Boldness. Children, pray. Even in your class, you are not too young to witness to your classmates. That might be the next Boko Haram. That might be the next, the next worst thing that can happen to Nigeria. That person can be the next worst thing that your classmates might be that the devil has programmed him to be the next worst thing that will happen to Nigeria. And God strategically positioned you Hoping that with you he can reap that soul. Hoping that through you he can he can displace the devil in the life of that young woman, young man. I want you to pray with passion. I want you to pray with passion. No more will you be like a destica when it comes to soul winning. No more. It will become your business. It will become your business. You will tell everyone whether they care to know. He said, be instant in season and out of season. Do the work of an evangelist. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. How can the LGBT, they are huge in my court. I'm telling you. Is it possible that there might be somebody who is a member in this place? We don't know. They are huge. How can we keep quiet? Let me tell you, the life of your unborn children are at, at risk. You. The life of your unborn children are at risk. You, because your children might encounter those lecturers. Your children might encounter those people. Have there not been people that went to school in the boarding school? That was how where their lives were messed up. That was how where they were introduced to lesbianism. But somebody refused to preach to that person. The person you are refusing to preach to now might be the one that will cause havoc. It's not a threat. Lord, wake us up. Karapate. Somebody can you cry Lord Ignite the burden in my heart Remove the Ignite the burden Remove this non challenge attitude in my heart He hand picked you He hand picked you He hand picked you He planted you for a reason. It's not by accident you are living on that street. It's not by accident you know. Somebody, go ahead and pray. I will not be afraid. I will go. I will go. I will go. No more will my mouth be short anymore. Kataya. Is our responsibility. Responsibility of everyone. Everyone. No one. Everyone can preach the gospel. Children, share the gospel with your classmates. If, even in secondary schools, People in JS1 are trying to introduce people to bad things. Introduce them to good things. We can't, open, we can't close our mouth anymore. The LG is huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. We, know, we will no more shut our mouth. We, we will no more be... be, be 
be beyond concern. It will affect you. C carry your children to the Western world. They are already teaching them. There are people who say they are neither male or female. They don't even know if they are human beings. Our sister was telling me, one of our sisters that just traveled to US, that there is one of one of our neighbors that if you address her as she, she can call police for you. She says that they, that she is a day. Her nomenclature is day, day. <laughs> it is only believers. Go and see what the devil is doing in Western world. They are indoctrinating them. And yet, you have the opportunity. You are just looking at salary. God is causing men to come your way. Men and women. So you can shape their destiny. Somebody pray. My mouth will not be shut anymore. The gospel is the key to personal and societal transformation. It is the key to displacing the devil. He said, I see Satan fall like lightning. I see him fall. We are going to see Satan fall in North Bank. We are going to see Satan fall in Assassin. We are going to see Satan fall in Avis. Somebody begin to pray. Begin to pray for the intercede for believers. Intercede for believers. Intercede for believers. All around North Bank. That we will be awake to our responsibility. Somebody begin to pray for believers. Somebody begin to pray for believers. Somebody begin to pray for pastors that will begin to stay up and mobilize people to evangelism. Mariade Sabara Sapara Teligra de Babaria Sapara Kotoko Vienegia Zeteke de Breke de Yada. Satan must be displaced in this place. Police cannot do it, it's a gospel. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we're going to pray last prayer. See, let me tell you this. When you begin to live a life of purpose, even sickness cannot dwell in your body. I'm telling you, there is a higher life. Can you hold one person to one person, one person to one person? <laughs> if two of us shall agree as touching anything, <laughs> there are too many souls in this North Bank. We are sending an encounter to them. One, one, one person, one person. Don't, it's not chain. Just one person to one person. We, we are going to pray that, see, some of them we don't know them. Some of them we know them. Now, for, for instance, in your school, do you know what it means that the capon of blackers encounters Jesus? Do you know how many people that will repent? Do you know what we do? You know the damage it will do to black us in that place. I'm talking about a sitting capon. <laughs> we're, we're going to be praying for the different source to us. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this is how to, they lie to live. All these give me bread, give me butter. You, you don't know what you are doing. No? These are the things you should take home and you are crying, groaning. Can we begin to pray? Lord, you know them. There are people that key pins. There are king pins. There are people that when they give, when they give their life to Christ in this North Bank, it will, there will be a great change. Lord, let them encounter you. Let a great light. Saul said a great light. We saw a great light. Let them see a great light. Let them see a great light. That we... Bring them down from their horse. Hey, no, 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 no. Eh, 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 eh. Mbano, 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 mbano. See, don't be looking at me. This is not prayer you pray psychedelically. This is not the prayer. This is not the kind of prayer you are praying and, and you are looking. Mm -mm. It has to come from depths, from groaning. Please, see, this is not the time to look around. You see, you, you may not know. Your life depends on this thing that we're talking about. 
Some of you have younger brothers. You don't know that your younger brothers are the mercy of joining cult. That this prayer can save them. Your, 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 your sister is at the verge of becoming a prostitute. You are not aware. I want you to groan. I want you to pray. This is, hey, this is church. The way you will pray if you are to pray for promotion. The way you will pray when they begin to pray that you should pray against your enemy. I'm telling you. Can we groan? Lord, you know them. You know them. These strategic people. These strategic people. That if they are one, many lives, there will be peace. They fear. Your fear will fall on, the, on people. Kaneto se peneke. Eko sapa. Rapia latande. Ikalate, ikalate. Ikalate, ikalate. Ah, 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 ah. Lord, let your mercy, let your grace that brings salvation, let it appear to this one, sir. Ale, ale, ale. For once, forget about yourself. For once, forget about yourself. Have you not bothered about yourself for too long? Do you know whether that your neighbor is the person that will spoil your daughter? Hey, hey, somebody pray. Your life depends on it. The destiny of our children depends on it. Do you know the people you are releasing into schools for your children to go and meet? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Canete, 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 e katapate, zapala, 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 zapala. Let this one see light. Rape, ranako, zapale, kapale. Akatambelikato, a credete de de de, sapatekete, let the head of court in North Bank, let the head of Vikings in North Bank, let the head of Blackers in North Bank, let them begin to encounter Jesus, let them have the revelation of Jesus, ekelete, asazavila, vretem bekis kopele kumbe, e rempeketo kambelia, antum brenian don don do, rapian de 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 de, there are people you might not be able to reach, but your prayer can reach them, people could not meet Paul, people could not go to preach to Paul, but ah, Jesus, not a fear face, Jesus, not a fear anybody, he can encounter anyone, he can encounter anyone, Kane sapane 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 rapekete ke paratapa zabalaga da balaga da baraka rapeketo sapale dede rapeketo koprate ah some of them if you know them by name you can call them and groan on their head ah you don't know that it was Stephen's prayer. Stephen's prayer. The day he was being killed. The Bible says that Saul was the one overseen, holding the clothes of the people who were killing him. Ah! And Stephen began to pray. Lord, don't hold this against them. They don't know what they are doing. Raniakosa. Zele de Kenando. Zele, zele, zele. Zele, 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 shataka pandekina, wule bama, rubrelete pekendo, ze pekendo pri la tosa, rambeke la tosa tela, oh, divine encounters bread and pray you begin to see men and women on their own accord 
can begin to walk into churches. I'm telling you, it has happened before. It will happen again. Rate seconds no believer will be complacent again Jesus every church in North Bank will awake to their responsibility every believer come on can you pray a few seconds can you pray no more thank you father man tos a paler hey Lord the job that you have for us will undertake it in the name of Jesus Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Come on, go ahead and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate thee. Harvest is coming. Come on, shout. Come on, shout. Thank you for listening. For more inspiring messages, check out our YouTube and Telegram handles at Dogza Life TV and Dogza Life Telegram TV. You can also visit us at Dogza Life Premises, located at House of Mercy Auditorium, Union Greek Road, North Bank, Makodi. Or call us for prayers and partnership on 0814-879-2013 and counseling on 0814-879-2013. Once again, thank you for listening. Jesus loves you.